you drop water onto waxed lunch wrap paper, it behaves very much like quicksilver, or the metal mercury. It's fascinating like that. The small drops are rounder, the bigger drops get, the flatter they go, and of course the more they tend to move around. And it's fairly uncontrollable. But you can, using this lunch wrap paper, especially the really waxy kind, make yourself an interesting race and study the way those drops move when they run over a waxy surface. And I think the easiest way of doing it is to make little gutters out of that, but you need to prop them up on something, and for that I think the most satisfactory is probably this. It's just old bits of polystyrene which come out of uh, packaging. I cut it into rough blocks like this, getting a hacksaw blade. A hacksaw is fine, but a blade's probably even easier to use, and it cuts very cleanly, and you can chop it up into whatever size blocks you happen to want. Then it's a matter of joining those blocks together. Well, you can use glue, especially if it's a water-based glue. But I think uh, pins are as good as any. You can start off with a base like that, put your blocks on top, pin them into any kind of arrangement you want. Remember, you'll want jumps and waterfalls and corners and all sorts of things like that. And just start building your frame in that kind of fashion. Well, it can get very complex. I've got a very simple one here. It's the beginnings of one, but uh, it saves time to bring it in sort of prefabricated like that. And I've turned corners and uh, got all sorts of angles in it. And what I've done there is to make the gutters and glue them into position. And let's show you how you do that. First of all, make sure it really is the waxy stuff. Some of it wets a bit too easily. This doesn't wet at all. And cut uh, clean bits of it out like that. No jaggy lines. And probably cut them about two centimetres wide, these strips. Make them as long as you're going to need. You don't forget they can be as long as you really like. And to make a gutter, I think the easiest way is simply to take your strip like that, fold one side of it, which makes a, a little wall, crease it a bit, it's hard to handle this, turn it around, fold the other side up to make another wall, and that's basically the gutter, and it helps a lot if you just sort of crease the bottom into a bit of a furrow. Okay, how do you glue it onto here? Really, the best glue is uh, something like petroleum jelly or Vaseline. Glue doesn't work on this stuff at all. It doesn't grip to the, the wax, but this uh, petroleum jelly does. Dob it on wherever you want to. I've made little notches there just to help the whole thing in its construction. And just stick your little runnel down like that. And you'll have to do a bit of adjusting while you do this because sometimes the drop can go too fast and leap over the side and you need to wangle the whole thing around. That's half the fun of it. But at the end, if you make jumps and ski ramps and uh, waterfalls and things like that, you'll have a very interesting little water drop roller coaster and you can study the fascinating way drops flow over a surface that they don't actually wet.